Hello everyone, today I've got a little different video from what I'm used to doing. This is a tutorial video on how to hack your 3ds home menu theme and add a redesigned one. First thing you're gonna do is go to Google and plus the Homebrew Launcher 3ds. I'm the misclick master, you should know that. You need to click this one, I'll leave the link in the description below. So these are going to be the instructions given, but they're not explained very explicitly so that's the main reason I'm doing this video. So you're gonna need to download this and go to your downloads and go to the folder you saved it at. Now click cut and go to your computer. This is your SD card mainly and you'll need to paste this here. Right click and go to extract here. Now you're gonna need to wait. Oh, now you're not gonna need the raw file anymore. So I'm gonna delete that. And now you have to go into your 3ds folder, click uh, create and create a new folder which is gonna be named chmm. Now in this folder you will have to firstly go to Google. I'll leave this link in the description below to download this file. Anyway, I'm gonna download that, click OK, and basically do the same thing as we did before. Now right click, cut, go to your 3ds folder as we went before, in the chmm folder and click paste. This is gonna be the file that's gonna let chmm work. Now we're gonna need to create another folder in the beginning of the SD card folder and name it themes. In here we're gonna download themes that are gonna be our home menu themes anyway. Go to Google first of all and now click 3ds themes. Go to this one. Uh, I'm also gonna leave a uh, link in the description below for this one too. And here we have a lot of amazing themes and not the boring dull ones the 3ds has you can switch through pages through, I mean through these one or two pages I'm gonna download this for example first of all click download and do the same thing as we did twice before open the folder right click cut switch to your, your themes folder and now click right click and create a new folder and you're gonna name it as you want. I'm gonna name this Kid Acre Surprising. And in here you'll need to paste this. Now right click and extract here. And now this is the, the PNG file shows what it's gonna look like in the 3DS. Looks pretty nice. You can download as many as you wish. Now that you're done downloading, you'll need to switch back into your 3DS. Now that you're back to your 3DS, click on System Settings. Firstly, you're gonna need to go to your Internet Settings and then Connection Settings. After that, you're gonna need to go to your Internet Connection and go to the right, DNS, No, Detail Setup and then go to your Primary DNS. Now you're gonna need to insert this code and click OK. Save all the settings and go all the way back to your system settings and then home menu. Now that your home menu screen has loaded, go to your YouTube app. Then you're going to be shown this box right here. It says USA new 9.9 .9 version. This, these are versions and countries. Now you're gonna need to go to your own country and select the one 3DS version you have. For example, I have the Europe old 3DS, not the new 3DS, and have the 9.9.0 .9 version. Please take notice that your 3DS has to be from version 9.0 to 9.9. .9. Now that you have chosen your 3ds version, you'll have to wait for just a little bit. Then some codes are gonna be loaded to your 3ds and the Humber Launcher screen is gonna appear. 
then you have to go down to your AHMM folder and click it. And then it's finally time for you to choose your 3DS home menu theme. I'm gonna choose the Pokemon world, for example. Click A, and then you have to wait for the theme to be installed. Now you'll have to hold down the power button because the 3DS uh, home menu theme is not actually loadable, so you have to just turn your 3DS off this way. Finally, the 3DS home menu screen is hacked. Now you can have your anything you want, and it can be anything you like, and you don't have to pay just a tiny bit for it. You don't have to pay, it's totally free. As you can see, the screen loads, and there are three different pictures shown the evil and aquarium. That's pretty nice, and I especially like the music at the back. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I really hope this tutorial helped you out. And see you guys next time.